All right, welcome to the feature, guys. We're looking at a LG 42-inch broadband television. Absolutely awesome. This is the feature, guys. This is a fully web-connected TV. It's got an Ethernet port in the back. An Ethernet port. That brings the Internet into the television. That means that you have Netflix, you have Flickr, uh, you have, I mean, Twitter. Can you see that? Look at that. Look at that. Twitter. This TV has Twitter. Do you know what that means? It means you can tweet from your television. That's awesome. Uh, check this thing out. Not only can you obviously get you know uh, Twitter and, and Netflix and that kind of stuff, but uh, you can also apply to any RSS web feed. Now, any type of feed burner you use or XML RSS feed is going to automatically pop up. You can select them. So that means that you can watch weather, news, stock quotes. Uh, you can watch YouTube. You can watch videos. Look at this. I'm going to go through some of the settings here because they're really cool. Uh, look at that. You got Yahoo Video. You have. Uh, Yahoo Sports, you have a widget gallery, so those are your RSS feeds. Uh, Pre-installed, you already have the Yahoo Weather, uh, Yahoo News uh, RSS feeds. You also have Flickr, so you can access someone's Flickr account. This TV is absolutely incredible. Now, let me run through the big uh, basic specifications with you. First of all, it is a 42-inch uh, diagonal across, so it's pretty big, perfect for a bedroom uh, or a living room. If it's a little bit smaller, you want to be about eight feet away from your television for 42 inch, so somewhere in that range is pretty good. Now, of course, it's 1920 by full 1080p, uh, but if you just a 70,000 to one contrast ratio, which is not your ordinary specification, that is a huge number. That means you're gonna get some really, really dark blacks, some really bright whites uh, on this television. It also has uh, a very fast response time that you do not see very often. It's a 2ms response time, extremely fast for a large television. You don't even find those in high-end monitors, but to find it in the television uh, is even more impressive. Uh, it also is 120 hertz refresh rate. Uh, so if you don't know, that's kind of like the LG True Motion. Basically, the screen is refreshing 120 times a second versus your average TV, which only refreshes 60 times a second. That means it's twice as fast. Uh, as your regular TV, which means when things are moving quickly across the screen, rather than getting a big blur where you see trails and everything and motion blur, you're just going to get sharp, 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 sharp images through each frame because there's 120 of them in a second versus only 60. When does that help you? Football, hockey, uh, basketball, anything that's fast, car racing, NASCAR, F1, you name it, anything that's fast, sports related is going to look a lot better, a lot less motion blur. Anything where things move quickly like an action movie is going to look crisp and sharp. Now, uh, beyond that, uh, it does have a full built-in tuner, so you do have a ATSC, an NTSC, and a clear qualm tuner. If you don't know what those means, NTSC is the old analog. You're not going to use it. Don't worry about it. ATSC, uh, I'm sorry, NTSC, is, I'm sorry, ATSC uh, is the digital. Basically, that's the one that's free over the air and in HD that pretty much replaced everything after the switch over. And then clear qualm is the most uh, important one that you're going to use because you're most likely to have it. That's basically your cable. Uh, the one that comes right out of the wall before it goes into the cable box that you rent. If you don't want to have a cable box, you want to just plug it directly into the TV, that's the one that you're going to use. It's called the Clear QAM Tuner or the Clear Qualm Tuner, some people call it. Basically, uh, it's going to let you flip through all the channels very uh, simply. Now, let's talk a little bit about what's on the back of this thing. Now, we'll start off on the side over here uh, where you know, you're going to plug in the stuff that you're not going to be uh, leaving permanently, stuff so you use temporarily. Playstations and little controllers, cameras. Uh, you have a USB port right there, and then you have an HDMI port there, as well as composites down here in case you want to hook up an old video camera or perhaps a VCR. Now, moving to the back, there's a lot of good stuff going on here. We're going to start with the antenna or cable in. Like I said, this is what your clear qualm and your ATSC tuners are going to use. Uh, you also have an SP diff optical. Uh, output in case you want to send whatever's coming into the television out to surround sound. Uh, you have an RGB in, which is actually a VGA 15D sub, uh, and then audio in as well if you want to use an analog uh, 1.5 millimeter jack. You have three additional USB 2.0 ports, I'm sorry, uh, HDMI ports on the back. That brings the total to four. Uh, so let's see, uh, Xbox 360, PS3, uh, TV, and then the one on the side will be for uh, whatever for the cable box. Uh, over here are your composite inputs. So if you want to do these composite inputs, these are also very useful as well as the components right below it. The components will let you do up to 1080i. The composites will let you do 480p. And then the coolest part about this TV, the one feature that you do not see on other TVs is this Ethernet port. It is web connected uh, and it will let you get all those features we talked about like Twitter and Netflix and YouTube and Yahoo videos and RSS feeds, etc, etc. 
and that's basically uh, the back for you. So uh, very nice TV, incredible specifications. Uh, not only is it got a very high contrast ratio, a very fast response rate, uh, four HDMI ports, so you can play all sorts of video games on it. It's going to look really sharp for Blu-rays and for movies, but uh, you get the additional uh, bonus of having, you know, a, a TV that has Flickr and a TV that has Twitter. I mean, that's ridiculous. Uh, you can go to the Netcast. You have YouTube. You can watch Vudu. Uh, you can watch Netflix. I mean, you have so many things that you can do uh, with this television. It's what really makes it uh, a unique television with some great, uh, great selling points. I mean, if you're on the market for a TV, they're basically all the same lately. A lot of people have been coming up with uh, televisions that pretty much do the same thing. They have high resolutions. Uh, you know, they have high contrast ratios. They're all 1920 by 1080p, of course. They all have four HDMI ports. You know, this one has the addition of, you know, all the composites and components, but they, they basically all kind of have that. This is what makes this thing different. Uh, Netflix, Vudu, uh, YouTube, all this good stuff that you can watch in here. So very, very cool uh, broadband TV. Expect to see TVs like this uh, coming up in the future, though. LG is going to start integrating this into all their televisions, uh, and you're going to start seeing a lot more uh, televisions that have this type of technology involved in them. But if you want to be the first, this is the way to do it. Uh, it is the LG LH50 42-inch broadband HD TV. If you have any questions on it, feel free to email me, and I'll see you guys next time. For more information on the LG LH50 42-inch LCD TV, type in L49-4248BX into any major search engine.